legal trouble is brewing for the original Kingsman film, and I might be using the term original loosely here. It is being reported by CBR.com that screenwriter R. Spencer Ballantine is claiming that the film stole specific ideas from his story called The Keepers. Well, yes, the franchise is based off of the Kingsman comic book series by Mark Millar and Dave Gibbons. Certain elements that appear in the movie are different from that of the book, and are allegedly lifted from Ballantine's screenplay. The elements in question include the Knights of the Round Table references, the small dog, and the theme of humble beginnings being turned into greatness. This case is reminiscent to another lawsuit which was filed over the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen film some years ago. Now, Ballantine is looking to claim damages of at least $5 million. As for me, I really don't care who wrote it because I just love these movies. Anyway, in my top story for today, Kitty Pride fans, we might have a movie to look forward to in the near future. Reports are coming together that there is a secret project currently titled 143, which is believed to be a Kitty Pride film and is in reference to the X-Men issue of the exact same number. This issue stars Kitty Pride, who has been left alone in the X Mansion and is attacked by a demon. Now, numerology aside, this project is also tied to Deadpool director Tim Miller, who has been said to be getting to direct a Kitty Pride movie of his very own, and is also said to be directing the 143 movie. So, most likely, these two films are just, you know, one and the same. Too bad Joss Whedon is stuck in the DCEU right now because I'm sure he would have just loved the chance to get to make this movie. And in even more news on this project, it is being reported that Brian Michael Bendis has been hired to write the script for this mystery film. Now, this is all the more curious because Brian Michael Bendis, as I previously reported, has just left Marvel Comics and has signed an exclusive deal with DC Comics and is already slated to work on a whole bunch of projects for him, including Superman. So where's he going to find the time to do all this? And it's pretty interesting that screenplays for Marvel don't violate his deal with DC? Hmm. Anyway, now if all these pieces of the puzzle do fit together, who would you like to see play Kitty Pride in this upcoming movie? Would you like to see Juno reprise her role, or is it time to try someone new? Personally, I always wanted to see Ryan Newman play the role. But what do you think about this, and what do you think about this Kingsman lawsuit? Let me know down in the comments section. And don't forget to smash that notification bell so you can keep it here for all of your comic book news. Thank you so much for watching, and this has been Dave Knows.